Hello guys, welcome back to Comic Book Cafe, and this time around we're reviewing Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4, Issue Number 1. So this is a very different Guardians of the Galaxy than in the past. So basically, Raccoon is now in charge, Rocket Raccoon is now in charge of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Uh, Quill has basically, as Raccoon feels, has abandoned the Guardians to basically go uh, take his role as the Star-Lord to be Emperor of obviously the what Spar Bartax uh, Empire, obviously his dad's empire, his family empire, uh, and so basically there's already friction there. And the Guardians of the Galaxy currently exist in this this iteration of Rocket Raccoon, obviously Drax the Destroyer, Venom, uh, Groot, Kitty Pride, aka they call her Star Lord in the book, uh, the new Star Lord, and then the newest Guardian. Ben Grimm, a.k.a. the thing from the Fantastic Four. So, our book starts off with uh, basically the thing flying in space, with rockets obviously in space, doing something, and remembering his origins, that basically he was originally trying to basically want to fly and be out in space before obviously the events that happened to the Fantastic Four, which later changed them all into the Fantastic Four, uh, and so you're going back to his origins. He loves it out there, but of course he says the thing is that when everybody out there wants to get him, and you see the Chinchari, Chinchari Empire, of course, most known for obviously the uh, Marvel movies uh, recently. Uh, so basically this, this empire, you know, they're chasing him for whatever reason. Uh, they know who he is. You know he was a member of the Fantastic Four. And just as it looks like they're going to get him, the Guardians of the Galaxy show up to save him. Uh, what's Obviously, Kitty Pride being the new Star Lord, and she has unique abilities that Rack, Rocket Raccoon's obviously made this suit to work on. He's kind of upset she used the new Rocket Pack, I guess not the older one. They have a, he says that at one point, but uh, and it's funny when Drax makes a comment about you know how her using it strange that she does that. And he's like, and you have blood all over you, and you think I question that kind of thing. Uh, a lot of fun banner between all of them, obviously. And obviously they beat the Empire. They take something from them, and they don't know what it is. And so they're all on their new ship, which in some weird ways reminds me of the, some weird ways, kind of a paint scheme like you would see, like Jetfire from the original Gen Generation 1 Transformers. But anyway, and they don't know what to do with it. And they, they want to open it, but they don't. Like Thing points out that, you know, now we all know about the Infinity Gallery. He says, could this be the Infinity Suit of Armor? which I don't think we've ever seen. Uh, and they're afraid to open it. They don't know what to do. And then we found, we see Peter Quill. Now, Peter Quill, again, used to be Star-Lord, is now the emperor of his father's, uh, you know, empire now. His father's gone. And he's just sitting there bored out of his mind. And he just wants to get up and leave. And the guy's like, where are you going? There's nowhere to go. This will be over in like three hours. And he's just bored. And later we see Peter sitting outside with this big alien-like plant-like thing who's like, you know, your empire has been weakened since your dad's gone. We can make a strong guy if we procreate. And just as she kind of says that kind of stuff, the Guardians of the Galaxy show up. And it's quite evident, myth that came up, that some don't want to see him. Rocket Raccoon, Kitty Pride don't want anything to do with him. Kitty Pride's his fiance. He says that to the plant lady as they show up. And they clearly, you know, obviously, we don't know all the details in this beginning of this issue, but clearly... You know, they're mad that they feel he abandoned them. Drax still likes some Groot, so. Uh, and they're like, you know, we're here to take this to you because we don't know how to open it. He's like, sure, we can have the, the council look at it. And they're like, well, well, the council person's like, it could be a bomb, you know. And just as they're doing that, all of a sudden, uh, she's like, it could be a trap. And just to say something, something comes down, comes down to the sky. And he's like, hold your hold your fire, please. And he's like, please don't let this be what I think it is. Please don't let. It. And Kitty's like, be what? And then you see a crash, and then you see that it's Gamora, you know, all beaten up. And and you know, Peter asks, where have you been? You know, you've been gone. And she's like, uh, I try to stop, stop it. I try to stop the, the, this person, but I couldn't do it. I, I just used all my power to escape. And escape from who? And he says, uh, the destroyer of words. Hala, H-A-L-A, 
Hall. So, that's how it ends. Again, they're the characters you know just a couple in different places. If you've read the Gar recent, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy before, uh, obviously before Secret Wars all started and stuff like that. Again, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy, you like this. Uh, it's too early to say what Ben Grimm adds to, adds to the group, you know, uh, at this point. But again, things have changed, and I enjoyed this book. There was, you know, just enough to go on. Like, just enough different to keep you wondering, well, why did this happen? Why did he leave? Why why don't they like him so much kind of thing? And, you know, what is the thing that the Chichari Empire had that they're trying to open? You know, and now, you know, obviously, the Destroy Worlds has something to do with it. Like, obviously, that they're tied together somehow. Well, if you like Guardians of the Galaxy, you like this book. Uh, if you've always wanted to read it and you haven't, this is obviously a good launching point. issue number one. Uh, to just, just go from you just go from there and, and see what happens but again overall like the, the great thing about Guardians is the banter and you know the comic aspects between the whole group right just a bunch of misfits together who don't always get along kind of thing as some other books the, the heroes always get along in this case they don't always get along they don't, don't always see that but it's always a lot of comedy involved anyway what do you guys think of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 4 issue 1 do you not like it like it again I found it very enjoyable. Uh, there's no need to read, you know, past issues if you haven't. Uh, it's just a good jumping point if you've never read it before. Maybe somebody who's seen the movie, like, oh, I want to read the comic. This would be kind of a good spot to jump in. Anyway, love to hear your guys' opinions on it, like always, and I'll make another video soon. Later, guys.